iOS users, fear not. In this video, I'm going to tell you when DJI plan to release the SDK for iOS devices. This will then allow support for third party apps, which is going to absolutely transform your DJI Mini SE, DJI Mini 2 and DJI Air 2S. So let's get into it. At the end of December, DJI launched the SDK for Android users. This allowed third-party apps such as Litchi, DroneLink and Rainbow to be compatible with the drones I have just mentioned. Now, some of the added value features that these apps offer, I of course have covered on my channel already. I've already shown you how you can use the third-party app Litchi to active track a car, use GPS follow, and of course explore the focus and orbit modes as well. And coming up in a future video, I will also be covering the ever popular waypoints. So please do consider subscribing to be notified when I post that video. Now, so far, iOS users have been completely left out. Now, I have been asked a great number of times when these features and when these compatibility of these apps will be available for you guys that use Apple devices, such as iPads and iPhones. And if we take a look at the DJI development site, you can see in their roadmap that the plan for the SDK release for iOS is actually at the end of March 2020. Two. So not actually too long to wait. However, I do appreciate it. it's quite frustrating the fact that Android users have got it already. Given the fact that it only took Litchi, for example, a few days to support the DJI Mini 2 after the SDK release, I would fully expect the time frame to be very similar. So generally beginning or the very beginning of April, you can expect to be able to use and enjoy all the added value benefits that these apps do actually offer. Now, if you're not aware already, if you are an iOS user, Litchi actually supports the DJI Mavic Mini and DJI Mavic Air 2 already. So if you do own one of these drones, you can actually purchase the full working version of the Litchi app. You don't have to download any BT, you just go into your app store and buy it and you can actually enjoy all of the benefits that it actually gives you on your existing drone if you own one of the two I've just mentioned and you can just get yourself completely up to speed while you're waiting for the full functionality and for the SDK to be released for drones such as the DJI Mini 2. And if you are of course completely new to Litchi and you do not know what this is, I have done a full series of videos that you can check out on my channel where I explore and show you how to use all of the various options and indeed a full app walkthrough as well so by the time Litchi actually does get launched for iOS in full if you do own an S Mini SE, Mini 2 or Air 2S you will be fully up to speed. Now just for a little disclaimer it does appear that if you have DJI Care Refresh on your DJI drone it appears that DJI will not cover you in the event of a mishap whilst using a third party app. But please do bear in mind that this is just relating to DJI Care Refresh and there are many independent companies out there that actually don't mind you using these apps. Uh, the insurance company Covered Run in the UK, which I personally insure my drones with, they've got no problem with me using these apps. And please do, of course, exercise caution. This is a third party app, but it does work on all the same controls and control points and basically the base development uh, from DJI. So if you are using it as just a normal app, it's of course, it's completely and utterly usable, stable, and you can just use it as a complete DJI flight app replacement. But of course, if you do want to delve into some of the smart features, such as active tracking, etc., and follow modes and all the cool features that of course you wish you had on your DJI Mini 2 then please do of course be aware that this drone or the certain drones that are going to be using this app don't actually have obstacle avoidance but of course if you are being careful completely aware of your surroundings there is no greater risk to using these modes using Litchi for example and your DJI Mini 2 as to what there is using quick shots on the DJI Fly app. 
So that wraps up the video and hopefully by watching this you have learned exactly when DJI plan to release the SDK for iOS users. In the meantime, while you are waiting, you can check out all of my other videos I have covered on this topic on my channel. And of course, please do consider hitting that subscribe button if you have found value in this video. Until next time, take care, fly safe and see you again soon.